Danny Flexen here with trainer Angel Fernandez. Angel, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Danny? It's been a long time, eh? I think I did your first interview um, on any of the YouTube channels, but your profile has grown exponentially since then, it's fair to say. Uh, how are you dealing with the newfound spotlight and the scrutiny? Um, I don't think it's just kind of like just under, under the light, you know, just, I still kind of like improving each day, you know, and just taking each day as it goes, you know. As I said, you know, it's, I'm an apprentice and um, I will always be an apprentice and, I, and I'm enjoying the journey so far and um, yeah. Now we're here at the MTK press conference for the um, Golden Contract semi-finals which take place on Friday night. You've got O'Hara Davis, of course. Before we talk about the fight itself, just tell us how you guys linked up. Um, I was in Dubai on holiday and um, I got a, well, no phone call, a message from uh, Leeds and, and um, would you do me a favour? Uh, would you train O'Hara Davis? <laughs> I'm like, O'Hara Davis? <laughs> Hell no. I think <laughs> I kind of like just took like a day to me to respond. Um, and I was kind of like, hmm, you know, because I, I, I judged the guy through social media. Um, so then me and O'Hara got in touch. We, we, we spoke to each other. You know, we, I think we met on a, on a Sunday. I said what well, I'm expecting from him. And he said, listen, this is what I do. This is what I don't do. And we just went from there. And so far, you know, once you get to know the man, he, 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 he really is a nice guy, you know, really nice guy. What elements of his, because you don't want to change his natural style and he's been doing it quite a long time now as well. What kind of nuances do you want to add to his game? Um, the head movement was not there, you know, uh, footwork, defence was kind of like a bit open. Um, I just tried to make the guy slightly a bit kind of like taking more control in the fights because um, with that right hand that he has, you know, he, he has to have more to his game. And that's what we have been doing in this camp. But again, you know, I try not to confuse the guy because th there's a lot of work that we need to be doing. But I came in and, and the guy need to be fit for this fight. So um, we kind of like, we just focus on three things and, and hopefully the changes will be there on Friday. Did you guys have a discussion before the draw in terms of who you were going to pick? Did you know it was going to be Jeff Afori beforehand? Um, we, 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 we really kind of like, you know, we was kind of like expecting McKenna, to be honest, uh, because kind of like all the press and everyone wants to see that fight. Uh, but he chose Afori. Um, I don't take him lightly and that's what I said to him, you know, you need to focus and, and it's still the focus as you're fighting any of the other guys. And uh, we're not underestimating nobody, so we're just going to go there and just try to do the, the job as we would fight Mimu or we would fight uh, Tyrone. How are you splitting your time these days in terms of where you're basing yourself and where you're doing your training camps and so on? Um, well, I'm just kind of like just between, you know, just like Finchley, you know, just training Joshua and then um, go over to Essex to train uh, O'Hara. It works well because, you know, by the times they both train at different times. So, yeah, it, it, so far so good.